Waters Rising. Waters Rising introduced uh, a new vocalist, Derek Lefebvre, who took Ron Taylor's place. You know, Ron was the band uh, 16 years, and he decided that he and uh, Darren, the lat bass player, wanted to do their own musical thing. So we parted friends and everything went well, and we went out to try to uh, perform the daunting task of finding a replacement. Uh, I knew Derek from other local bands. He always was a great singer. And uh, in an uncanny way, he sounded a lot like Ron Taylor. Uh, Derek has the ability to, he, he, he very good at sounding like other singers, uh, but his actual natural voice was right in the same range and tonality of Ron Taylor. So um, we talked, he decided he wanted to do the gig, and we went into uh, production for Waters Rising. And uh, we had a new deal with a new label, and uh, they let us do what we wanted to do. So the cool thing about Waters Rising album is now is like we're really getting into our groove with songs like Waters Rising and Become a Monster and Thirst, Quarantine. We, it's like we, I felt like there's nobody telling me how to write, and it's this is like really evolving into something um, that very proud of the direction. I wrote for that album a couple of songs that I think are in. Um, if somebody asked me what is your, what are your favorite and best songs you ever wrote, and a couple of them, Fields of Yesterday, which is kind of like Lillian Axe's big epic to me, and uh, I Have to Die Goodbye. Those two songs, um, to me, are highlights of that record. But it was great because it introduced Derek. We played a lot. We did a long tour of the U.S. Uh, had some great times. It was... Uh, you know, on a bus going from coast to coast, all the way from New York to California and back. And uh, it got us back in. That was the first studio record since Psycho Schizophrenia. So it had been a decade uh, or more since uh, we had a studio record. So it was great to be back out again. So we were finally getting back into our stride.